Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. Today uh, is interlude, a quick interlude. There's one thing I wanted to do and I thought we could do it together. Um, in my previous video, I, uh, I made this. It's, uh, it's a little badge from uh, 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 Maker Shed, Make Magazine in California. Um, they sent it to me with my order recently, a couple of books. So uh, uh, in the previous video, I, um, I, 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 I installed this LED in the top here. You can see when we turn the power on, it goes bright red. Um, and uh, uh, I, I've decided that, that I could do better. Uh, that hole in the top, uh, keeping that free to use to mount it would be good so I can hang it on my wall, which is what I'm planning to do. Um, and because the light's so bright, I thought it would be better to use two LEDs to reduce the brightness a little bit. And then we can use the front terminals here and here. Um, if we use two LEDs, the, the legs will be long enough and we'll be able to put in the eyes of this little guy here. So let's jump over to the bench and let's, uh, let's uh, fix this guy up a bit. Here we are on the bench. This is our thing that we'll be working on. Um, now I'm just going to put the, uh, the iron on. We'll need the soldering iron. We won't need the hot glue. So let's warm up our iron. Now we want to take this thing off. Um, now I don't know whether you know or not, but my friend Craig gave me the tip that uh, isopropyl is the antidote to hot glue. So we'll just hit that um, hot glue with a bit of isopropyl and hopefully it'll just pop off. And indeed it does. Now I've soldered this on here and here. So when the soldering iron heats up a bit, We'll just do our best to desolder it. I might actually uh, don my gloves for this one while I uh, just deal with the hot circuit board. So uh, now we have to think: what color eyes will we give this thing? It's got uh, it's got two eyes, kind of there and there. I suppose red is fair enough, keeping with the colour of the thing. Could do blue eyes, do yellow eyes. I don't know. I'm not sure. Now, if we get a screwdriver for those screw terminals, uh, that'd be good. Here's a screwdriver, just what we're looking for. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, I'm not sure that those screw terminals are going to be super secure. I think maybe we want uh, some washers in there. I'm not sure. These are uh, countersunk screws. I don't think countersunk's what we really want here. I don't know. While that iron's heating up, I'll just uh, I'll just grab my uh, <coughs> washers. Here's my washers. So uh, let's take these screws out. Where's my screwdriver when I need it? Here we go. So we've got this driver here. And uh, let's grab a drill, drill bit. Don't get in trouble there. All right. In, out. All right. That's out. And this one's out too. Now, should we use two washers or one washer? I think one washer will be sufficient. So we've just got to remove the uh, the 
the LEDs that have been soldered in on the back here. So let's do that now. Hopefully this will uh, just uh, pop off. Yep, it did. Okay, and we'll do the same over here. There we go. All right. Now we are going to need the soldering iron again, just to. Uh, I think that's going straight in the junk box, isn't it? So. Let's figure this out. I don't think we're going to need the gloves. I'm just going to take my gloves off. That is not a metaphor. Now. Because we're uh, going to be doing it on the front, we can use the big ones or the little ones. These big ones are kind of enormous. So maybe we'll stick with the little ones. These are the little ones. Should we use the same color for both eyes? What about yellow eyes? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just do two reds. Two reds. Now, uh, what are we going to do for testing? We've got some alligator clips here, and we'll actually we'll use a third clip. So we we want to go from uh, negative negative through to negative there we go alright and we're going to want to put them together so before we uh, solder it all together we'll just check to see that uh, No, I'm just going to solder these together and we'll do the next bit later. So, let's just fold him in half. Say about there. There we go. And we'll do the same with the other one. Then if we hook these together, that looks about right, doesn't it? <clears throat> yeah, it's about right to me. Now I wonder if the third hand would come in handy here. Maybe. I want to get those eyes kind of together. Uh. Let's just get a bit of solder in there. That'll hold it together and then we can uh, bend it into shape. There we go. 
Hmm. That didn't work. I'm going to burn my fingers again now because I've taken my gloves off. Anyway, those lights, roughly, roughly. Ah, oh dear. Can you tell I'm not a professional? Is that coming through? <laughs> Here's our uh, third hand. And uh, some tweezers. Let's just use that. fairly good. Now let's just bend those bits and pieces into place. So I've got some needle nose pliers, those should be helpful. And we'll just take that and bend it around there. And similarly for this Now, we should be able to power this thing up and hopefully the battery can do two LEDs and, uh, and hopefully it won't be so bright using two as it was using one. So, uh, oh, which is the short end? I'm not sure. This one, I think. So let's put him into the power. This is negative. And this is positive. Oop. Positive. Negative. Switch. No, we've got a problem. It's not working. I wonder if we can reverse the polarity. No, what have we done? I don't know. That's not working. Maybe, uh, maybe 1.5 volts is not enough to drive this thing. Drive two of them because the forward voltage is 1.8 volts, isn't it? It's not working at all. <sighs> let's uh, let's get our bench power supply on over here. Turn him on. Yeah, I think the problem is that uh, the voltage is not enough to drive the circuit. So, uh, looks like we can drive one LED, but not two LEDs. So, let's, uh, let's put our voltage level on. Uh, voltage 1.5 volts all right now i'm not sure which side is positive and which side is negative so let's just have a guess i'm going to guess this side is positive and this side is negative so we'll turn him on no good not even a little dribble what about if we reverse the polarity? No, nothing. All right, well, let's put it up to three volts. All right, and let's turn him on. Nothing. And let's reverse the polarity. Nothing. That's weird. What have I done wrong? Well, uh, let's just test the diodes individually. So we'll put the voltage back at 1.5 volts. And let's put uh, one in the middle and one on the side. 
and uh, that didn't do anything. Let's reverse the polarity. Yep, there, that's working. All right. And what about over here? That's working. Two of them, not working. V set, four volts. Up we go. There we go. So you need four volts to drive this thing. And when you do, one of them soaks up more of the voltage than the other. So two LEDs is not an option. Unless I could get LEDs that draw less power. I don't know, can you get a, can you get a, a 0.7 forward voltage LED? I don't think you can. Ah, okay. So this thing can only power one LED. Right. And I don't suppose there's any possibility of putting two batteries in there. Ah. I'm going to go have a coffee and think about it. I'm back with my coffee. And I have to say, if you're a maker or a creative person, you do any creative activity, um, if you get stuck, go and make yourself a coffee. Because, uh, or, or have a shower, or a nap, or a cigarette, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, yeah, but basically just take a break uh, and change your context and let the solution come to you. Now, the, the, the reason that I wasn't thinking clearly about this problem is uh, 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 having the, uh, the resistors in series, as I was planning to do here, uh, solved a problem for me, which is that I need to reach from here to here. And when I wire them all in series, the leads are long enough. So that solves a problem. So I was just thinking that um, these had to be in series. But of course, if they're in series, uh, they they uh, demand too much voltage, and they don't uh, they don't satisfy their minimum voltage requirements. So we couldn't get this network to power on until we gave it like uh, uh, four volts, and we're only going to get 1.5 volts out of our cell battery. Um, so the obvious solution uh, is to run the the LEDs in parallel, right? So. Um, uh, the problem with running them in parallel is uh, the legs won't be long enough, uh, so uh, we'll have to solve that problem. But th that's a, a solvable problem, isn't it? Um, and I think we're going to want a little bit of uh, a heat shrink. Uh, so what we really want to do is we just want to lengthen um, uh, uh, the, the appropriate sides, right? So, uh, we can do that. We can do that. So, uh, let me just take a little bit more of a break. I'll have my coffee and I'll think about this a bit more. All right, I'm back. Now, we're going to need to have another go at the LEDs. Um, we'll use the red ones again. And... Uh, we're going to need a little bit of shrink uh, heat shrink for this job. Now I've got that all over the place. Uh, let's try here. This looks pretty good. So there's a little bit of heat shrink in there. And uh, I don't know if we're going to need two pieces or one piece. This looks like it'll work, doesn't it? So maybe, uh, maybe cut that in half. Maybe it'll do. Now, the long end is positive. Send him it right out there. And then the short end. Yep, 
is negative. I'm going to send him out there. <coughs> and then we need to send one of these through to join up over there. Alright, so let's uh, get our snips. Now how much are we going to need? We're going to need roughly the space between there and there, which isn't very much. So let's try that. <coughs> Is that going to work? Looks like it'll work. Just uh, don't want those eyes to be too far apart. Okay, let's try a little bit of solder here. need to hold that together a bit. That looks fairly good. <clears throat> All right. Well, shall we use two bits of? Uh, I don't think we're going to need two bits. Ah, oh, we'll use two bits. Why not? So uh, let's just snip him off there. this guy on there and bend him well over this way there we go and let's just try holding that together there see how we've fared with our maker fair. That looks about right. gloves on I've knocked my camera haven't I dear me has that been annoying you sorry if it has alright let's just uh, get him back in there Yeah, me. You can't take me anywhere. Should have put both my gloves on. All right. 
Uh, seems to be about right. And we'll go across from there to there. Should be okay. Uh, I could uh, tidy it up with a little bit more uh, shrink wrap. I don't know if that would go in over the top. It will. Okay. Good. Well, let's uh, let's cut that in half and use the rest of it. These gloves are going on and off and on and off, aren't they? Oh boy! One thing I miss when I'm making these videos is my music. I should play it into my uh, into my headphones. Maybe one day. So let's just uh, put a little bit of extra uh, heat shrink on this thing. We might as well turn on the hot gun and actually shrink the heat shrink. So uh, hot air gun on. I tell you, I've really hurt my uh, my finger. I burnt my finger. Got to be careful. All right. So just shrinking the heat shrink here. See if we can flip him over. It's fairly good to me. Now I'm not sure which side is which. Let's put our voltage back down to uh, 1.5 volts. I'll just turn it off. All right, now I forget which side is which. Let's just guess. How's that? No good. Now let's try the other way around. Moment of truth. No, nothing, not working. It's no good. Why is that not working? Not enough voltage? I don't know. Uh, voltage, two volts. Enter. On. Yeah, two volts does it. Um, and V set 1.5. Doesn't do it. So, uh, 2 volts does, 1.5 doesn't. Okay. Well, uh, we might need to figure out which color um, which color diode uh, drains the least amount of, uh, requires the least amount of forward bias. But first let's see what happens if we connect the battery. Alright, so there's the LEDs on the uh, Hey, it works baby! Yes! Excellent, and the, and it's a nice even distribution of light. So uh, very happy with that. Good work, Ohm's law. So uh, now we just need to get this. Oh, I forgot to check the polarity. Uh, There we go. All right, well, they're marked, so this is the negative side. How will we know the negative side? Let's just keep it in mind. Negative side's going that way. 
So, do we need glue for this? I don't think we do. So we just need to put our um, <coughs> our washers on, which is done, and then uh, our screwdriver we've got. We'll put him in in mode. So it's going the right way, and we've got another one of these. There we go. And then if we just drop that in there and get the uh, the leads behind the washers. Sorry, I need to do it this way because of gravity. So you can't see, but I can see. All right. So the eyes are in place. Let's just tight, tighten up our screws a bit. Oh, that was tight. There we go. So, we've got our eyes on the eye holes. Isn't that nice? And we've freed up the uh, the slot at the back there. Now I've got a little bit of uh, um, flux residue uh, from the previous soldering effort. So just going to clean that up a bit with a cotton tip here. This is uh, isopropyl, it's not water. So um, this uh, PCB didn't come with instructions and I've had two goes at, uh, at using it. So maybe I should have uh, jumped onto the thing. Actually, why don't we do that? Give me a second. Let's jump on the computer and see if we can find out about this. All right, well, here we are on the computer. So uh, I'm not sure what we're looking at there. Uh, let's just jump over here. Uh, have I... Electrify it. So they've got a kind of cool domain name. It's Electrify it, as in Electrify it. And it's obviously not Italy, uh, just it. Fair enough. Now, um, can we search? I'm not seeing search. These guys are based in California as well. Fair enough. I don't know what their relationship to uh, Maker Shed is. Uh, what about the shop? What's in the shop? Not jumping out at me. Not sure exactly uh, how to approach this task. I don't know. What about if we uh, if we just uh, search for here, there, there be ma makers site like Fi it. What do you reckon? seeing anything that looks um, not, not seeing anything that looks really promising soldering kits. It's not really a soldering kit, is it? No. Okay. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. 
so uh, I suppose we could just have one last go uh, and search for uh, here there be makers in quotes yep not finding anything okay so uh, that's a bit disappointing we couldn't get instructions for this thing um, but uh, anyway we gave it a go so uh, back over to the bench here we are back at the bench um, just going to do this one more time for the uh, isopropyl on the uh, on the flux residue I just made a bit of a mess of it just kind of clean that up now I don't think we've powered this thing on to do the final test so um, if we've if we've done everything correctly uh, we should be able to throw that switch and bang everything will power on um, oh, missed. Just cleaning up the uh, the mess here oh yeah all right well moment of truth here it is let's throw the switch oh no nothing we've made a mistake how disappointing what have we done wrong it must be it must be these mustn't it ah I really was expecting this just to work at this point let's uh, see if we can improve those terminals him right in there. Uh, I'm just going to need a little screwdriver here to push that around. Get that right on there. We did test it powered off the battery and it worked. I'm pretty sure we got that. Got that right. Yeah. Done wrong. Huh. I don't know. I'm gonna take him out, see if we can power him off the uh, off the power supply again. So uh, uh, maybe I just put it in the wrong way around. Did I? Um, before we go off the power supply again, let's just try going off the battery again. So this is negative, positive, <coughs> and let's just try this. Okay, that's good. So I, I must have just got the polarity wrong. Dear me, can't take me anywhere. So, um, let's just bend him around again this way. And same with this guy, just in that way a bit. Alright, now let's get him behind there. This is the gravity thing again you can't see what I'm doing there we go all right and we'll just turn it off while we're doing all this adjustment okay uh, 
and over we come. In we go. There we go. It looks pretty good to me. Alright, let's try uh, our little screwdriver again. There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Let's put him in there. Alright. So hopefully this time when we throw the switch, it'll come on. Hey, look at that. Gee, it's bright, isn't it? Real bright. So we did it. We put the eyes on the... What is it? It's a. It's some sort of a pirate maker. It's a pirate maker. Yeah, that's great. Wow, look at that. You know what would be good is maybe a little resistor to bring that brightness down a bit because that's really bright, isn't it? Um, but uh, that's a job for another day, maybe. Well, well done. Good work. So, um, the only other thing that remains is to mount this somewhere. I was thinking maybe up the back here. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, let's just see. I've got pins and I've got nails. These are my nails. And, yep, that will fit perfectly. Uh, so uh, I, I will hang this up the back here uh, and I won't do it just now because uh, it's uh, six o'clock in the morning and people are still sleeping around here so uh, we won't put that in just now but we'll, we'll put it in and I'll, I'll show you it installed in a future video and that's a wrap so uh, um, isn't it funny how the simplest little thing, just, uh, just you know, installing some LEDs into a circuit board with a cell battery can end up taking you quite a bit of time. It was, you know, anyway, but it's a good job well done. I'm very happy to have my uh, thing uh, fixed up. I, I think it's, it's much better with the two LEDs on the front and the hole at the top uh, spare for hanging it. So uh, I think that was a good job well done. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how much life we get out of the cell battery. I'll try to remember to uh, turn the lights on when I do my shows. And I'll hang it up the back here somewhere so that it's uh, in the scene when I'm doing my videos. So thanks very much to Make Magazine and Make a Shed for uh, sending me this all the way from California. Um, there, was a, there was a sticker that came in the mail as well. I, uh, I don't know what happened to that. Um, oh, here it is. Yeah. Um, I'll show you this over here on the bench. Let's just pop over to the bench quickly. Here we are back on the bench. Now, just before we wrap up, I thought I'd show you this. This is uh, October this year. I won't be there because it's in uh, it's in California, in the Bay Area. Make a fair. Sounds great. There's a QR code there. I'm not sure if you'll be able to get that on your screen. Um, but you're welcome to try. Um, and uh, there's nothing on the back, so it's just a sticker advertising the Make a Fair in the Bay Area. Uh, is it Mare Island or Mari Island? Mare Island, probably. Um, there's a, a, a dragon in the in the bay, uh, and there's some sort of maker bot, and it's advertised October 2024. So we're in uh, August at the moment, so that's coming up. Um, if you're in San Francisco or the United States of America, you uh, might like to know about that and attend. So, uh, yeah, cool. There's your sticker. And that is a wrap. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. And please remember to hit like and subscribe.